coming up in this video. Poking page. Howdy. Bottles from the deep. Very deep. Yeah. Hey everybody, Bottle Ned here. I was going to film this special intro in silent movie format, but as most of you guys know, it's hard for me to shut the uh. up. Um, I'm gonna get right into it. So this is a very special episode in which we're traveling to a small town in Northern California called Niles. And what makes Niles really special is that Niles was the first Hollywood. Yes, before Hollywood was known for having a film industry, Niles had a film industry and they filmed Westerns there and they filmed Charlie Chaplin movies there, a guy named Bronco Billy and uh, Charlie Chaplin, of course, they lived in this town in the teens, in the early 20th century, 1913, 14, 15, right in there. Charlie Chaplin lived in Niles for about three months. So, the really cool thing is we're gonna dig behind a restaurant that was in operation from the late 19th century all the way to the early 20th century, which means that restaurant should have the trash, potentially, of people who could have gone into the restaurant working in the silent film industry such as Charlie Chaplin. He could have drank out of a sauce bottle that was thrown into this the, the privy and the trash pits that we're going to dig of this age. So while the bot might be kind of lame uh, ostensibly, you know, for you bot veterans out there, you see machine made crap and you're like, uh oh, but this stuff is loaded with history and just remember any of these bottles and objects could have been interacted with by silent film stars from the teens before there was a Hollywood. Oh, and also, I'm about to introduce a brand new character! Right. Digging the West with Bottle Man. Ned here. We're back at the lot this weekend. We have the excavator again and great news we have another gigantic hole probed out for your viewing enjoyment and also a brand new character. Privy Poke and Page. Howdy. So Privy Poke and Page, what made you decide to join this shit show? Well it all started when I took myself on a ghost town tour into the California desert. I ended up finding the dump for uh, about an 1880s town, and I spent like four hours in the freezing cold just picking up shards of desert purpled glass and like pieces of bottles. And it all started in that moment. I knew I had to uh, go on a quest to find whole bottles. So, Triple P, what do you love most about the bot? Well, besides the fact that it's beautiful. Yes. It's just such a small, intimate way to be attached to people's everyday lives from the past. Oh, that's beautiful. I think that makes me want to dig! Let's go! <laughs> Let's finish that up, so we're going to go try another one. New diggers. Wow! So Privy Poke and Page. So what made you come out here and find some find some old layer today? Privy Poke and Page. Call of the bot. Is that a bot? Yes, it is sir. a bot. Oh, you got you got bot on top of pot. On top of pot. Cool. On top of shards. Yes. On top of lime. Oh boy. Oh. Extract. It's a flavoring extract. It's a, it's a minor botgasm. <laughs> the lube job you dug up actually has some beautiful patina. Oh, 
Hey, you want to see the hottest thing ever? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Look at the drippy lippy on that thing. Yeah. It's patina too. Like, uh, like whoever blew this was a bit hungover. Trying to get this big, rusty bowl out of here. Oh yeah, it looks like, uh, granite wear. This is lye, right? Yeah, it looks like lime. Totally. Totally. Oh, you got it exposed? Ah! <laughs> is it, bring it over, is it granite wear? granite wear. It's like, um, I think it's like enameled, so it prevented it from rusting and all that, so you can still see the, the coating there. Well, it was blocking the thought, so now I can really get in. Nice. Granite wear is porcelain enamel coated cast iron and tin cooking wear introduced in America in the 1870s. The enamel on the surface of the metal would prevent rust and corrosion, and this affordable cooking ware became a staple of every American household up until the 1950s, when aluminum and stainless steel pots and pans became popular. Dun, dun, dun. A kiss of death for the bot. Chinese bot. Whoa, yeah, it really is. Got decapitated bot down here. German syrup. Dr. Boshi's. Dang it. Well, cool if that's intact. I can't even. Ah, it's broken. Stuck in the right the rust conglomerate here. Pretty, really pretty Chinese rice bowl. Hey, check it out. Somebody wants a hug. Whoa. <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> Man, that's a power stand. Cheers. Shaving mug. Huh. Well, that's a panel shaving mug, early 1870s. Wow. Then somebody else dropped a privy in on top of this privy, maybe 20 or 30 years later. Not knowing there was a privy already here. Probably a new resident. Check that out. Weird. So that's a new privy right there. Going into this 1888 privy. What? Look, like this came out of the 1910 hole right here. That's like 30, 20, 30 years. No, 30 years newer than this paneled mug from the 1870s. It's like two different cups 30 years apart that one has panels it's thicker ironstone this one's thinner it's got kind of a flared out lip right there the flare to it obviously cheaper oh they both broke at the same time though. <laughs> this is probably just more brittle but that's thicker see the thickness there that's thicker the older one than the new one You're digging this old privy, and all of a sudden, bam, you go into the wall of the new privy. Doink! Quality and purity. Yeah. 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 Ugh, machine made. 1915, even. Look at that. Old privy goes straight into the wall of the new one. That's still amazing. All the eggshells. There's the wall, the liner. be a lot of bought in this age shoe polishes the classics what are you doing over here it's soda there's a soda in there it's being cradled by a broken food jar i think you cracked it all sides wow all sides. do we have extraction finally Slide. okay uh. <laughs> Everybody. Hold on. Yeah, make sure the top's clear. Yep. I want to 
wag that top. No, sir. Oh, doink. Oh, beautiful. Look at you. Golden Cheers. West. Cheers to that. It Golden says West. Golden West Soda Works. San wow. Jose. Do you know the way? To San Jose. Oh, that's great. Lovely. Nice, like, like a fire aqua crown. <sighs> Nothing beats the name. How does it feel? Do you need a cigarette? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Take her up top. Oh man, great. And I got another one. Tool top, crown top. Yeah. Make it rain. <laughs> Wait, are you having multiple bodgasms <laughs> down there? <laughs> Need some light in there. Is it like a small bot? It is a wee one. Oh. A wee bot, I say. A wee bot. A little pharmacy. I twist it like I that. think that's a layer. Yeah. Wow, chamber wow. pot. Look at that. Light me whole, actually. You know, sometimes there's bot inside chamber pots when people throw like a chamber pot in the ground. When that happens, it's called a chamber bot. Yeah. <laughs> Good one, Chip. <laughs> oh, white ass. Yeah. Oh shit, that's stuck over here too. That's a yellowware wow. chamber pot. Yeah. So yeah, sometimes people threw like a bottle, you know, in the chamber pot when they threw it away. They tossed it in the hole. It's all together, it's just kind of split in half, huh? Is it? Oh. Yeah, the crack. Oh, that's why they threw yeah. it out. You could probably take it out one little piece at a time if you, if you pull it out it straight. Out. If it's mm. not stuck in there, you can. I know, I'm scared. Oh. Probably. Yeah, there you go. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. That's actually old. Look at the age of that. It's bigger than your face. Oh, look at that. It's. <laughs> yeah, damn hole's broken out of the bottom. Wow. Unexpected. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a flower pot now. Yeah, I know. It actually allows the roots to grow. Where's the handle? Oh yeah, there's the handle. The handle that broke off. It's a really pretty yellowware chamber pot. No, you usually see the white ironstone plain ones. What's the date on that? You know, they made yellowware for a long period of time. It's probably, the pattern would, would probably tell you. You think so? Well, I'm not a pottery expert, Ned. Really? Hey, you've been around, Chip. Well, I haven't seen that design. It's just straight yellow oil. Yeah, I've seen that. With the wines? Well, if anyone knows, they made yellow air for a long time, but it can be pretty old. Mine's all fucked up. Oh, I think we're having a bottle tug of war here. No way. Yeah. No way. I see. I see what was going on. No way. I'm gonna get my. I'm gonna get my bot extractor too. I think she's got the base and you've got the top. I got the base. No, I've got the top. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, the ultimate bot battle. The bot tug of war. Damn it. Mine's all cracked. So is yours? I think it's the same one then. No, I got... Oh, hey! How could that be? She has Actually, pop. I think I'm breaking through to your side right now. Oops. Oh, shit. It's yeah, different. It's... Wow. Oh, God. It's cracked, too. That's yeah, too that's, bad. That's too bad. Could have been... Chip's got like an amber looking cylinder. Yeah. But it's cracked. It's, it's all kind of blown up. It's either a beer or whiskey. I know. You don't want to see an amber cylinder with a big crack in it. No. Damn. I 
bet it'll be embossed now that it's damaged. We'll see. No, I think I just broke on the other side. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Get out of there. That's funny. It's really in there. Jeez. Huh. Just yep, a generic, here. Huh? No loss. SF and PGW. Yep. Wow, it's not even embossed? San Francisco and Pacific Glass Works, but it's an unembossed one. It's cracked, okay. nicely. Looks like someone screwed up at that glass factory that day. Look at the oh, poor God. quality of the glass oh, here. It's <laughs> just <laughs> falling apart. It's not a very good advertisement for this glass works. No, not that particular one. Yeah. Uh, it just popped out, so you, I didn't get to film it. An unexpected box gather. Uh, a quick one. Yep. Quick but sweet. Whoa. I love these. Dr. D. Jane's Expectorant, Philadelphia. Half size. Half dollar. Oh, you gave away the punchline. <laughs> Half dollar. <laughs> So oh, the full wait, size wait, wait. is a full dollar? Yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. Mustard? Oh, it looks like a Horlicks malt malted milk maybe. Mm. Oh no, a barrel mustard. Yeah, that's older. I like that. Yeah, milk. Yeah. Nice extraction. Clean. Smooth. Responsible. <laughs> barrel mustard. Yeah. 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 Tooltop one, nice. No marks from the Pico or the shovel. I'm learning from the best here. <laughs> Debatable. <laughs> I'll say yes. Oh, hello. What do you got? Oh, oh, more and more body. Yes. More and more. This is a little mini privy, is what this is. Is what? We're getting critical. Yeah, this is critical now. This is, this is just a trash layer. Got our liner over here. Don't pry with that thing. <laughs> Whatever you do. Watch out, those broken plates will really nag you. This is a hand deep situation. Yeah. That looks like a Ooh. big old long honking olive oil. Big old, yeah. Ooh. Oh. You got the chip, Hello. the chip cave right there, shining light onto the subject. All right. Thanks, Chip. That's got a long neck and top, so you might want to just. Oh wow! Yeah. Most of it. yeah. I didn't even realize it goes all the way up here. Yeah. Oh, lid jar sealer. Yeah, nice drink lid with the porcelain sealer. Come on, baby. Ooh, we've got a nice, nice chippable. Yeah. <gasps> Don't add some chippy to that nippy. Don't oh. dig with those gloves because you'll a lantern sticking out will just slice right through those stupid cheesy oh, gloves. Right, pro tip. They're not like the garbage man gloves. See if you can stick your finger in, in the lip of that bottle. I'll give you some bad advice right after I give you good <laughs> advice. Ready to pull. Right, here's a money shot. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, look at that cool mm -hmm. figural olive oil. Beautiful. Nice, slim, shapely lady. Slim, shady. <laughs> yeah, I, I love the elegant shape of these. Right? An olive oil? Yeah, olive oil. Tiger whiskey, man. Yeah. Pinkape. That that food pot right there. There shouldn't be a, a spout. Oh, it's not a probe, is it? <laughs> No. 
That's why they threw it away. I need them. Looks like an 1880s one. How are you gonna make it over this thing? Excavator's all cool, baby. Oh shit! I don't remember throwing that back. That's pretty. High voltage. Triple petticoat. Number one. M and Gay, patented 1893. That's old enough. Oh hell yeah. Yeah, that's about the age of that hole. Yeah, 1918. Spanish flu, that's an inkwell. That's the style of inkwell that was really popular about 1910 to through the 20s. Wood wall right there. Uh, uh, yeah, there's a wall, you can see it. Ooh, invisible OSHA approved shoring. Oh, 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 oh god. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's a lot deeper than I thought. Another one. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. I don't hear glass, I hear rocks. That's a rock, but all that other stuff is glass. I guarantee you. You heard me, I was squeaking around a pot, man. favorite World War One Clorox. Oh, I don't even know what to pick up first. The machine made shoe polish or the the Clorox? Ugga, ugga, ugga. Ugga, ugga, ugga. 1920s, 1918s. Ugga, ugga, right in there. We're getting down to it. into it. Or now the bots be rolling out. Or the 1920s bots be rolling out like pirates. Or ye Folgers extract. Dar. The standard mason. These scurvy dogs and bottles. The Waterman's Inkwell. How to identify the first machine-made bottles. So let's explore a subject that I've been avoiding since I was a lonely adolescent child with no friends digging in a 1940s landfill. Machine-made bottles! Yay! I love machine-made bottles. I'm just kidding, that's a lie. I don't. But I actually do have respect for them because even early machine-made bottles are part of our history and they have a story to tell, just like older, more beautiful, hand-blown, colorful, bubbly, whittly, oh, bottles. So let's explore the difference between the early machine-made bottles from the turn of the century up through 1920 and the later tool top bottles, their same earlier cousins, like this is a Leon Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. Let's compare this bottle from 1915 or so to an 1890s version of this same bottle. All right, let's go and hurry it up because it's recycle day. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so machine manufacture of bottles began around the turn of the 20th century. And the most successful, richest brands like Cheeseboro, Vaseline, and Leon Perrin's were able to order machine-made fancy bottles first. So the first machine-made bottles you see are bottles such as Leon Perrin's or Vaseline and other popular bottles of the day, other popular brands. Um, so here is a Worcestershire sauce bottle from about 1915. 
and you can see the mold seam goes all the way up just like they tell you in those uh, amateur books. <laughs> but it's true! The machine made bottles have seams that go all the way to the top because they pressed two pieces of glass together in a mold automatically and there's no end to the seam where the top becomes tooled by hand, right? And that brings us to the older bot. Oh, first of all, there's the Owens ring, the Owens bottle making machine was the first bottle making machine. And the earlier, the earliest bottles from the turn of the century to about 1920 will have, all of them will have the Owens ring right there. Okay, let's examine the 1895, not so distant cousin of that same bottle. We have a little bit more of an elaborate design. It's got embossing because it doesn't rely just on the label. Things got plainer as time went by, as you can see by product packaging in general. Uh, Worcestershire sauce, and there's a tooled top. The seam goes up and then it just stops. It's like it's erased. And then there's these horizontal lines from the bottle being tooled by hand and finished, the lip being finished by hand right there. It was still blown in a mold um, after 1885, an automatic venting system. They didn't use their lungs after about 1885, generally speaking in America. And there we go, but they did use a lipping tool and by hand finish the lip. And it's a little bit nicer, aqua, a little darker. You know, you can see a little more crudity, some bubbles to the glass. And that's how you tell the difference. Right there, let's look at a jar. Here's a ball mason jar. Still a nice color, aqua. There's the Owens ring on the bottom. This is made by machine, 1915 or so. And you can see the lip is smooth. Even has a little ridge running through it. It's perfected, it's totally made by machine, it's smooth. Let's look at an 1890s version of that. This is actually a rarer Mason, this is kind of cool. It's harder to find those, but that's the one I could find readily available. Um, there is, a, it's got a ground lip. The lip is ground, as you can see right there. They had to hand finish the lip. So they just ground it off, all that little chipping, that little miniature chipping stuff is natural, believe it or not. And so the seam goes up to where they ground the lip down right there. There we go, focus. Yeah, and same thing, just bubbles, no Owens ring. There's a little slag swirl of glass in the bottom. Okay, here's a uh, generic medicine bottle, the Tarrant Company Chemists. You'll see this bottle going back to at least the mid 19th century. This is a 1910, 1915 version. It's Got a machine-made lip. Seam goes all the way up. It's real straight, it's clear, it's crappy. It's got the Owens ring on the base right there. And some some numbers. Yeah, that's a that's one of the latest one of those you could find. And here's just a shoe polish, just showing the difference between a standard older clear bottle. Um, that one, it's got a tooled lip. Seam stops right there, tooled, bam. It's also turning purple because Older bottles made before World War I turn purple when exposed to ultraviolet rays for a long period of time. And there you go. That's in another video I have. You can learn more about that. The purple bot. This, this clear one probably won't turn purple. It's made right around, you know, the period of when they were starting to conserve manganese for the war effort for bullets. Woo! I'll just show you another machine-made bottle just to Make sure that you've turned blind by the end of this video, looking at this horrendous machine-made glass. <laughs> Again, I'm kind of joking and kind of not. There's the Owens ring. Seam goes all the way up. And what does this one say? Contains Mrs. Stewart's bluing, you know. Hey, it's a bluing bottle. You can see the bluing residue. Yay. Okay, so hopefully that provides a little clarity for you. One of those English, look at that, there's a throwback right there. One of those English uh, boot polishes. It's got the ink in it. Look, it looks like it had color. Oh. 
Yeah, it's got the ink. Eighteen eighty shoe polish. It's all cracked up, falling apart, but that's a lot older. Look, throwbacks, dude. You like that? I told you there's throwbacks in this hole. Wow, look at this barrel conglomeration. Whoa. Oh, hello. Oh, poison, blue poison, dude. Say poison on it? No, doesn't no, say it's poison. It's too much. Look at that, like a throwback. I told uh -huh. you there's throwbacks in there. What do you got? Uh, oh, get the embossed medicine too. Oh, not the beer. Oh, it's a, got a blob top though. Uh, uh. Oh, there you go. Embossed. Dr. Bell's Pine Tar Honey for Caps and Colds. Yep. Solar too, blob top. Oh shit, a whiskey, I think. Really? Oh shit, I see that. Can Hall's pulmonary balsam. <laughs> 1880s med. Look at that. We were just talking about that one, right? Throwbacks, man. Hey, we'd love to see it. Maxi throwback. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, oh my god, oh my god, multiple bots. This is a bottle rush right here. Got an LP, Liam Perrins. Got the shoe polish. Got more shoe polish. Get bottling in World War One. Oh. 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 That was a less bottly scoop. Well, look at that. The freaking door. The doorknob. The whole freaking. Oh, there's a throwback. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, oh my god, this is kind of exciting. Oh. was in Niles around the age of this this bottle in 1890 the superintendent of the US census announced that rapid western settlement meant that there can hardly be said to be a frontier line this was the end of the American frontier 
The dangers, freedom, and rough beauty of the unsettled West had been resigned to the pages of history. In the coming years leading up to the 20th century, nostalgia for the days of the Wild West grew, and it was increasingly celebrated in art, poetry, and song. In an interview with Collier's Magazine in 1905, Western artist Friedrich Remington said this of the filling in of the American frontier. I knew the wild riders and the vacant land were about to vanish forever. I saw the living, breathing end of three American centuries of smoke, dust, and sweat. By the turn of the 20th century, Western nostalgia was at an all-time high. Having spent time driving cattle in Dakota Territory and then in the U.S. Calvary during the Spanish-American War, Teddy Roosevelt even used his image as a rough-riding cowboy to help win the presidency in 1904. And at the same time, along came the motion picture. In 1903, the first popular American narrative film was released, a Western called The Great Train Robbery. Filmed in New Jersey, the movie was a huge success, and one of its stars had an idea to travel out west and film more Western movies, but in an authentic outdoor setting. In 1912, Gilbert Bronco Billy Anderson stepped off the train in the sleepy town of Niles, California. Took one look at the rocky slopes, wide streams, and dusty roads winding into the hills and decided this was the place to make Western movies. He got financing from Chicago to build the Western division of the s &A Film Manufacturing Company, and California's first Hollywood was born. On April 6, 1912, the local paper, the Township Register, reported, s &A firm with 52 employees chooses this spot as most suitable for pictures. Anderson built a studio at G and Main Streets, a one and a half story rectangular building that took up a whole block right in the center of town. 10 cottages were built behind the studio for employees and stars, and soon the Niles s &A studio was considered the top movie studio on the West Coast. Overnight, Sleepy Niles became the center of 20th century pop culture. Cowboys rode through town, six shooters blazing. Stagecoaches hurtled through Niles Canyon, all while the cameras were rolling. Then, in 1914, a young comedian named Charlie Chaplin stepped off the train in Niles. Chaplin immediately hated the place. He saw it as a backwater town where no one laughed when he would sneak under the bleachers at baseball games and pinch the bottoms of young women. He left for Chicago almost immediately after his arrival, but hated the snow and cold there even more. And so he returned to Niles and shot five short films there with a girl he met at a restaurant in San Francisco named Edna. He fell in love with her. She was his muse. Some say she was the inspiration for him to develop a more complex character in his fifth and final film he shot in Niles, The Tramp, in which he introduced for the first time pathos and melancholy to his comedy. The Tramp propelled Chaplin to fame, taking the spotlight away from Bronco Billy's repetitive westerns. And Chaplin moved to Hollywood after only three months in Niles. Two years later, the Niles s &A studio closed its doors forever. And that was the end of the briefly lived Northern California film industry. And Niles once again became a sleepy little town. Oh, that's a cool, that's like the world's newest Cone Inc. Look at this one. Pineolium. <laughs> Just a weird 
Spanish flu cure. Pinoleum. Listerine! Oh, you should see we're getting over here, Chip. Don't let those Cloroxes fool you. In the early 20th century, Listerine used fear-based marketing in their advertising to essentially scare the crap out of people into buying their antiseptic mouthwash, claiming that the product not only prevented social isolation caused by chronic bad breath, but also protected you from the dangers of influenza, dandruff, and ringworm. Full of water. <laughs> Strength, oh, you dogs. Oh, sort of did. Not the right. Oh, it actually says something on it. Pluto water. Oh God. Pluto. Hey, try to pronounce what that bottle says. Yeah, when I first found one of those, when I, was, I had no idea how to pronounce that either, or what it's what it means. I still don't know what it means. Pepto mangan good. Just in case you didn't know what that meant it's in in parentheses good <laughs> thanks that helps oh it's got a nice patina on it oh it's got embossing on the bottom too maybe it'll it'll give us more information dr a Good. <laughs> well, at least you know the guy's name. Oh, it's got like a strawberry on it. Trademark. Yep, that's not helping. So SNA Film Studios shut down production in Niles in 1917. And what happened one year after 1917? The 1918 Spanish flu epidemic. And you can see by some of the bottles we're finding in the top part of this pit, that they were trying to guard themselves against contracting the Spanish flu because these products were advertised to prevent and cure the virus. At least three of the bottles we've dug up in this layer of the pit contained products advertised during the 1918 Spanish flu epidemic as treatments and preventatives for the illness. So remember, the deeper we get into this pit, the older the pit's gonna get. So we're going from the Spanish flu back to the time when Charlie Chaplin lived in Niles in the silent film era. Holy shit, who's gonna go in there? You're gonna die. You are, we just elected you. Yeah. Damn, dude. Look at that, right down the wall. Lower the bucket, I'll go in there. That's a bottle right there. I know. Once you move that thing away, keep it close to the hole so you can dig me out when it caves in. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a later one? Uh, a, a younger cousin that we don't want to talk about. Okay. So you gonna you gonna help me out if a hole yeah. caves in on me? Hole caves in. We'll get you out within the next 30 minutes. You bad. Okay, he's digging a step. And then I'm going in. You make like a slide there, you just slide down. <laughs> Once you slide down, you don't you don't slide back up though. Slide down for the bot. All for the bot. Get that overburden out of the way while you're at it. Get that shit away. You don't want to pat on the back when you're down there? <laughs> oh, so you're going to come down there with me. <laughs> okay, Ned, this is it. You jump down there from here? See yeah. Okay. Oh, dude. I think I'd break my other foot. <laughs> it's, in the, it's in the hole. <laughs> now we have to go down, Chip. I guess you're going down too, that's your shovel. What the? <laughs> <laughs> okay, who's the wise ass to drop my shovel in a 15 foot hole? Yeah, I'd say yeah he's that? supporting that wall so it doesn't cave in. Yeah, that's good. All right, I'll follow you, Chip. Anything bad happens, I'll just stay up here. <laughs> Dude, Bottle Ned can't go in a 1915 hole. <laughs> it's got to be at least 1890 and older if I'm gonna if I'm gonna die in it. Let's see how Chip fares. The caving, just grab onto the tractor, <laughs> and I just know to lift up, and you guys will be there. <laughs> I noticed you guys aren't going in, huh? Hey, I, don't know. <laughs> I don't go out there until 1850 and over. <laughs> what was that? That dude? was my rule. Cool. That was a freaking ketchup. Oh, ketchup. Going in, in. going in for a ketchup hole. <laughs> Alright, ready, Chip? Yeah, okay. Let's go. Oh, oh. Right oh I like that sound. Oh, oh hell no. <laughs> That hole was way deeper than this. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. No anything, Chip? Yeah, we gotta dig. We're yeah. digging. We're gonna grab onto that if anything right, happens. Yeah, so. Chip, you grab onto that. Shit, <laughs> oh, watch for cracks, too, all around here. Since the invisible shoring might not. Hey, Pinard. Oh. Oh, Ed Pinard, that's older, isn't it? 1899. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I want to get back to the 99. Good time. Whoa, dude, watch out, man. Watch the phone. Yeah, with what, dude? Like a probe? Basically, if anything happens to us, Chip, we're screwed. Yeah. Hey, get on video that you're going to give me your bottle. How'd you like for your life to be in their hands, Chip? It doesn't sound good. <laughs> We're pretty much screwed. Hey, we saved you once before. Yeah, that's true. You did. <laughs> okay, you're getting a little older, right? Oh, is that handmade? Yeah. Oh, shite. Waters. Oh, that's Brothers. a cool one. Whoa, dude. What? Waters yeah. Brothers Olive Oil and Extract Company, Oakland, California, tooled top. Oakland. That's a different. Hold on, that's, a video. that's different, like, like Fino. That's different. Oh. Whoa, jeez, watch the bot, man. Okay, ready? Yeah. Nice catch. <laughs> oh, shit, this is getting some yeah. cave in here. Well, it's a tool. It's tool, though. <laughs> What's that? Oh. Oh, oh, Amber God. Bottle. Oh, Rothenkack, mid. Rothenberg chicken. Now, now, Chip, that's why we can't find the real holes, man. <laughs> that deep. And you yeah. can find the top of these. This might have been the reuse hole. I need to bring the Pico or something. They, they were thinking environmentally. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Just don't drop it down. <laughs> Right on my Ned. Drop it on my Ned. I see an air bubble. Okay, all right. 
It's getting older, huh? That's the next layer down, huh? In age. Could get a rat and burn my shit. You just want to pull it up so. God, what's that? Yeah. This is bad news. Bad news, bears. How, how many? Uh, oh God! Oh. Oh. Lots of color for you, man. <laughs> oh, what is it? Oh, it's a whiskey. Oh, oh shit, dude. Yeah, but that's way older than the other stuff up higher. Okay. No, that's a good sign. Got a whiskey. Five. Tooled whiskey. That's foreign, man. No, that's American. Stop it. Pessimist up here. You guys are the coolest Mexicans around. You got the two white guys doing the, the <laughs> shit work. Reverse racism. They made it in the fire. What you got? Put a pipe on my shoe, so. Wooden pipe. Any pipe? No, it's wood. Oh, wood? Yeah. Did you varnish it? <laughs> you can though. <sighs> yeah, that's bottom because it's hard. Past the rocks, it's just hard. And the way you can tell is you stick it outside the hole, outside the wall there. And then you get to that same hard layer. So that's oh, the bottom. Okay, so we're not going to fuck with the rocks. No, we we'll just get everything above the rocks. Yeah, just poke around there for a little bit. Yeah. Oh. Get the Rothenberg. Anything below the rocks be smashed. There you go. Yeah, when they dug this hole originally, they found that hard pan and said, "Well, time to stop." No more nice loam. Just finish this corner and I get to move back. Now. All right, I'll keep throwing. Tell me if you see a bot so I can film it. Okay. Move next. Bottles from the deep. What's this? Very oh, deep. <laughs> yeah. Bottles from your imagination. That's a big hole for the, for the solar. Whatever you can imagine. It's the same thing. Oh, yeah. cool. I like those bottles. There's a bottle for that. Oh. Well, it's, it's a different top. Yeah, it's a different. Cheesy English gin. What? It's, it's embossed? Cool. It is. What the yeah. F? What? Sierra, Goldberg Bowen? Sierra Madre Olive Oil, San Francisco. <laughs> Sierra Madre. What the? <laughs> That's cool. Dude, it's tooled top and it's clear and it says Goldberg Bowen. Sierra, Sierra Madre Olive Oil? What? <laughs> San Francisco? Whoa. God, that's... That's different, Nid. I've never That's even seen that was, or heard of it. Was a week in Boston. No, it's, no, it's 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 like an English gin shape. Dude, that's Barney Badass. Barney Badass. Yeah. There's something we don't hear. I thought you're from the '80s, man. You know that term. Yep. All right. Careful with this one. It's Marcos. This is cool. Oh, please! Oh God. Oh, we'll give me a heart attack. Yeah. Hey, you didn't see the big crack in it, did you? No, that's the content stain. That's a, root. that's a root or something. Or, like Ned said, stain. Oh, okay. That's a group just plate gas right okay. here. Okay. Pull down. Stroke it and be scared. Look, Dude. I found a grenade. Drop it right there. Chip just exploded a light bulb by accident. I'm gonna do it on purpose. Well, you, you <laughs> keep that one? That's one of those vacuum sealed. Oh yeah, it's gonna pop. Well, hey, go plug it in your house, man. Oh shit, sorry, man. I, I ate for the front of it. Oh, you're a bad boy. I totally was aiming for the <laughs> yellow part. Look, <laughs> corner. Got a little pill popper in the corner. There's the wood. Whoa. You guys toasted this one. What was that? Oh, whoa, this one says poison. Bronco eucalyptus for the cough. <sighs> oh, too bad. Well, the, the tractor got it. Oh, crap. I didn't get this one. This is a, a poison right here. Oh, it's okay. It had a chip in the lip. 
A poison? Those are extra. Dry China, Chinina poison. No, oh, that's not a good one. Yeah, but that's cool. I've never actually... Yeah. No skulls or poison. color. Oh, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Such a prude. Hey, don't be... Strychnia. Strychnia. That's strychnia. I will invade. I want the eight inch owl triangle. triangle. Okay, sure, sure, here it comes. Meanwhile, I will invade Strychnia. Oh. There's another one. Oh, oh. Come on, make it this time. Uh -oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 that's a, oh, it landed right on the bucket. All right, man. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, I can't see anything, man. It's dirt in my eyes. I'll try not to let it go, man. Oh, what are you doing? I'm trying not to fart on your head. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'll get out of here. Bean burrito. You can tunnel underneath my feet all you want, Chip. You're doing it in the name of bot. In the name of bot. Look at this corner. Oh my god. Oh shoot. Oh sorry. Okay. Oh, Holy god. crap. Oh, oh. More like quadruple. Oh. Or more. Citrate of magnesia. <laughs> One of those funky Art Deco Citrate of Magnesias with the weirdo top. Yeah, light bulb, don't pop it. Sauce, the Edison spice, yeah, another grenade. Is that an Edison bulb this yeah, time? Yeah, that one is. Yeah, I'm gonna steal your bottle. I got the Bromo bottle. Oh, you bastard. Oh, a screw top Bromo. Joke's on you, man. <laughs> That's the first layer, dude. You want the Edison bulb? The grenade. If you don't catch that, it's gonna fly. Oh, it says it on it too. Does it? Really? Does it really? Yeah. Oh, I gotta film that. There's a. Bronchiolitis for cough. And here is, I think that's blue. It's a blue blue inkwell. Really? I think, unless it's the ink itself in there that's blue. Oh yeah, it is the ink. Sorry, Bruce, you bought Yeah, you did. Here's a bronchiolitis. Oh shit. You got one blue there? No, I thought it was. Oh. <laughs> Well, that's that's a little older. Look at that wine. Holy crap, dude. There's a throwback. Look at the age of that thing. Yeah, well, piece of shit, but okay. Hey, they reused the wine bottles. Yeah, they did. Too bad they didn't reuse a whiskey fifth, right? Just, just keep that in the hole. We threw it out yeah. before we hit us in the head. <laughs> There's a crock. That is a real crock. Yeah. Here. Don't explode any light bulbs. We'll find out. We'll get this out of here for you. Whoa. What? A vampire steak. A ste vampire steak. It's a vampire steak. <laughs> Whoa, Chip, where are you going, man? Get the fuck out of here. Well, I don't want to die alone. No, you can't go anywhere. Hey, hey, you're <laughs> you're staying with me, buddy. <laughs> Damn, last man standing. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. Oh man. Okay. You think you'll ever make it to the big leagues? Let's find out. <laughs> Oh, slow, slow. Come on. Here's a curved ball. Oh, yeah. Big old one. All right, that's it.
Go to ink. Go to ink. Go to ink. Go to ink. Damn. He's safe. We survived, Chip. Just barely. Another day to dig. Oh, get that 40 in there. Get that 40 ounce. <laughs> Damn. Oh. Woo. We live. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> wow, you'll never be in baseball either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool. It does say it says Edison Edison Mazda. Edison Bulb. Yeah, you didn't find a good bottle, so he's gonna be booing. Happy Halloween, whoever digs that hole. They're gonna get a, a trick, not a treat, when they get to the bottom of that. <laughs> what else can we throw down here? I should have brought a time capsule. Leave it right here. Leave it right. Leave it right. Just don't break it. That's bad luck. Seven years. Leave it right. Leave it right. It's a reberry. Clam juice, oh, soda, jam jar. Doink. It's French's. Doink. It's new, it's clear, we don't want it up here. It's leave a right, leave a right here. Boink. It's new, it's clear, it's got screw top threads. Leave it right there, cause it's not wanted by bottle Ned. Leave her right. Leave her right. Right where? Right here. <laughs> it's new, it's clear, don't want it up here, so leave. Leave her right here.